This session is all about number bonds to 100. And once you've become really fluent with your number bonds to 10, that will really help you to understand and to learn your number bonds to 100. So for this session, we're going to need a dry white pen or a felt tip pen, a part part whole diagram. And I've made my own here by drawing two part part whole diagrams side by side on a piece of paper and putting them inside a poly pocket so that I can write on them and rub them out. Then we're also going to need some tens number cards with the tens numbers 0 to 100 written on. And I've done mine on post-it notes, but you can use bits of paper. Now it's important that you have every number from 0 to 100, but also to have the number 50 twice. So let's have a quick recap of number bonds to 10. There are lots of different ways that you could represent number bonds to 10. And all of these pictures here are ways of showing that eight and two together make 10. Eight and two are number bonds to 10. So our first picture is a tens frame. And you can use double-sided counters on your tens frame to show number bonds to 10. We've used our own homemade version here and we've used pennies which we have painted red dots on one side and purple dots on the other side to represent our number bonds. And you can clearly see that eight red dots and two purple dots all together make 10. We could also represent number bonds to 10 using 10 pegs on a coat hanger. And by sliding the pegs along, you can make different groups, different number bonds. So in the picture here, we've got eight pegs on the left and two on the right. Eight and two all together makes 10. Our third way is to use a part part whole diagram. And again, you can see here clearly that eight and two together make 10. And finally, we could represent our number bonds using a calculation or a number sentence. Eight and two equals 10. And so on to number bonds to 100. And if you've been practicing your number bonds to 10, that's really going to help you to find your number bonds to 100. Now here I'm using my two part part whole diagrams on my piece of paper inside my poly pocket. So on the left, I'm going to start with my number bonds to 10. So I'm going to put 10 at the top there as my whole and one pair of number bonds to 10 are eight and two. Eight and two make 10. Eight out of two equals 10. Eight and two are number bonds to 10. Now that's going to help me to work out my number bonds to 100. So if eight and two make 10, 80 add 20 make 100. 80 and 20 are number bonds to 100. Let's try another one. So, 6 and 4 make 10. 6 and 4 are number bonds to 10. Now let's use that to work out our number bonds to 100. So if 6 and 4 make 10, 60 and 40 make 100. 60 and 40 are number bonds to 100. Let's try one more. So number bonds to 10. I could have 10. What's going to go with 10 to make 10? Well, that's going to be 0. So 10 and 0 make 10. 10 and 0 are number bonds to 10. So that means that 100 and 0 are number bonds to 100. So why don't you pause the video now and have a go yourself at using your number bonds to 10 to find your number bonds to 100. Okay, we're going to have a little game now 
to help us to learn our number bonds to 100. And for this game, we're going to need our number cards, which we made before, with our numbers from 0 to 100. So I've drawn all of my numbers on post-it notes, and I'm going to shuffle them up. And now I'm going to turn them upside down. So the game is to find matching pairs. So I'm going to try and find two numbers which total 100, two number bonds to 100. So let's see, I'm going to choose that card there. So that's 70. Now, what am I going to look for here to make 100? Let me try that one, 70 and 40. No, that wouldn't make 100, that makes 110. So those are not number bonds to 100. I'll turn those back over. So let's choose again. 50, let me choose another number. 50 and 10. No, I haven't chosen correctly there. 50 and 10 make 60. So those are not number bonds to 100. I'll turn them back over. So let's go again. 30. Now what goes with 30 to make 100? 70. 30 and 70 make 100. So I can keep those cards and then we can play again. Okay, so that one is 60 and I need 40 to go with that to make 100. 60 and 40 are number bonds to 100. So I can keep those cards and we can play again. Now, why don't you pause the video here, set up your own game and see if you can play with somebody at home and see who can find the most number bonds, the most pairs of numbers that make 100. Good luck. So that was number bonds to 100. And remember, if you become really fluent with your number bonds to 10, then that will really help you to understand and to learn your number bonds to 100. So don't forget to play some games and to practice, 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 so that you know your number bonds to 100 forwards, backwards and inside out.